there's this idea outside of the Linux community that Linux is hard. And there's this idea inside the Linux community that those people who think Linux is har hard, those people are stupid or lazy or some combination thereof. There's this contempt inside the Linux community for people outside of it. And that thing is really, that's not really ever going to go away. We are, as a Linux community, we're always going to look down, at least some of us, on the Windows users of the world. It's just kind of our nature. We can't fix it, is, is what I'm trying to say. But there is some empathy to be had about how hard Linux actually can be. Because when you kind of are trying to determine whether Linux is hard or not, it really all matters on your perspective. If you've been using Linux for decades, Linux isn't hard. It doesn't matter whether you've ever used it or not. You can easily use Linux for the first time and be perfectly happy because while it is different than Windows for sure, it's still an operating system that has certain things in common with every other operating system. You know, it has a file system. It maybe it doesn't work the same, but it has a file system. We have file managers, we have browsers, we have applications, we have app stores. Those things are all very much things that you would find on other operating systems that aren't Linux. You know what I mean? But if you're fairly new to computers, or if you are the type of person who just uses your computer to browse through Chrome, Linux could be very hard for you. Because you don't know, you probably don't know anything about your Windows computer. You know, w Windows is hard for you. You aren't a nerd or a technologically advanced person. You're normal. You know what I mean? You don't know how a computer works. You don't know why one file manager... You don't, you don't know that there are multiple file managers. You don't know that there are multiple browsers. You've just used whatever is on your computer ever since you got it. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the way the vast majority of people use their computers. But when that person comes to Linux and finds out that there's more to the computing experience than just the browser, that's when Linux can become hard. Because for them, it is hard. They have to learn new things. And even if they try to use Linux in the same way they used Windows, where they just try to use the browser or whatever, there are going to be certain pitfalls along the way, like installation, like the differences in file pickers. I know I'm always going back to the whole file manager thing. It's just, you know, that's me. Things like taking screenshots, things like managing the display resolution, things like managing audio. Those things are all quite different on Linux than they are on Windows. Whether or not they're better or worse, we can get in a fight about that with those people on the outside. I personally think that a lot of those things are better on Linux. I know a lot of people think that they're worse on Linux, whatever you know the argument may be. But for average Joe Smo user, brand new user to Linux, those things can cause them to think Linux is hard. And I've talked about this before, but as a member of the Linux community, we need to have some empathy towards those people. When they are coming to Linux for the first time, probably through something like this Steam Deck, and they don't know what they're doing, telling them to read the fucking manual is not an appropriate response. I'm sorry, but it's not. Like, you just really can't tell a brand new user to go read the fucking manual. I don't care how appropriate or how good the documentation is. It doesn't matter. If you are going to spend the time to respond to someone, like, if you're... If, if someone asks a question and you are going to respond to them and your response is going to take up enough time to say, read the fucking manual, you also have the same amount of time. You could go to the manual, find the link that they need and give it to them. Then they can read the manual. They don't have to search through the whole thing. They can just go to the one part that they need and you've helped somebody for the day. You haven't been an asshole. Okay. So I guess... At the end of the day, this video has kind of transformed into me saying, don't be the guy who says, read the fucking manual, okay? That's not okay anymore. I mean, if people ask stupid question over and over again, you know, on Discord, and it's just, it, it's clear that they're trolling, fine. But if a pr new user's first experience with the Linux community is someone telling them the RTFM, they're not ever going to ask another question. 
Okay, they're just going to go try to read the manual. When they don't understand what's in the manual, they're going to go back to Windows. And maybe for some of you who say this kind of phrasing, that's okay for you. But if we want Linux to become at least a little bit more popular, we want it to change its reputation of being hard, then we have to be willing to help. And the vast majority of people are probably willing to help, but there are so many people out there who think that it's completely appropriate to tell someone just to go read the fucking manual. And it really, just, it really isn't. Don't be that guy. So, that's it for this video. I know the perspective is a little weird, and, you know, Wobbly Cam is probably not going to stick around for very much longer. This was supposed to be a short, but I've tried to record this video eight times, and I come to realize there's no way, no way, I'm going to be getting this into a minute. And according to the, the timer thing there, uh, I'm at six minutes, almost seven minutes, and uh, I'm sure that I won't be editing too much of it out. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you uh, want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so at the LinuxCast. You can support me on uh, Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. I will put all of my patrons at the end of the video. So thanks everybody who does support me there. I truly do appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.